Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm Brian Taylor and today I'm going to be talking about growing pomegranates. So I made a video last week on frost protection and I got a comment on my YouTube channel that man that was a boring video. So I thought I'd try to spice mm -hmm. things up with my channel. So I'm going to be juggling some pomegranates to entertain you, especially that guy. All right, ready? Been practicing all morning. Hi Murph. Yeah, I suck at juggling too, I guess. But frost protection is kind of one of those boring videos, but it is something that we needed to learn. So that's why I did it. Not all my videos are gonna be just through the roof exciting, okay? Pomegranates on the other hand are an exciting tree. They're an easy tree to grow here. Um, a couple of the pluses from a pomegranate, they are extremely drought tolerant. However, if you want good fruit, you do need to water them. And we're gonna talk about water and fruit quality here in a little bit. Um, first, I wanna say, Pomegranates are either a tree or a bush. It depends on how you prune it. Um, you guys are gonna see, I'm gonna have some B-roll clip coming in the background of one of my good friends in Tempe's pomegranate tree that was planted in the 60s. So it's an extremely large pomegranate tree. It's over two stories tall. The only problem with that now is we can't get to the fruit. So you can prune it to be like a tree or you can kind of just let it go to be a bush. All of this growth that we see right here is from this year that larger trunk coming out that was vertical but because of the heavy set of fruit it leaned over um so you guys can decide for yourself do you want a tree or do you want a bush um i'm probably going to end up letting this just go to go to be a bush and i'll print it back every year because this, this thing's going to get big and i've got everything planted close together um pomegranates do have very attractive red flowers um Something that was kind of cool, last month I actually had a flower bloom and it is starting to turn into a fruit. This fruit won't make it because pomegranates are a deciduous tree. And what that means is they're gonna lose their leaves and at that time, it's gonna drop any fruit that might be left. They won't survive. A um, Couple things that you need to watch out for with pomegranates are pests. So let me uh, find my juggling uh, pomegranates that I had. Pests. There's some good examples on these of what we have to deal with with pomegranates. So this particular pomegranate, you got a good focus there. So birds pick at this. Um, that video from my friend's house in Tempe, they have a huge roof rat problem. Almost every single pomegranate was taken out by roof rats which is unfortunate um, you'll get roof rats there are some bugs that I've been told that will get to them but they usually don't get to them until they start cracking which I don't think is caused by pests so now to talk about watering so like I said earlier you do need to water them if you want good quality fruit however they are a drought tolerant tree so you don't need to go crazy with your water if you start seeing splitting in the fruit. Um, that is generally caused by inconsistent watering. So inconsistent watering means you could water it for 15 minutes three times a week. You could water it for an hour once every other month. It's just not very consistent. What I recommend with the pomegranate in the summer, especially the summer like we had, if you want good quality fruit, is to let it have a deep water, like put the hose on it, for an hour or more. Just let it really soak in and do that every week to every other week. I would probably do it every other week if we have another summer like this last one that was a hot one. Um, if you do that, you're gonna have way more consistent fruit. Um, the next thing to do if you want good fruit is to protect it from the pests. So what we do, I'm gonna set these down over here. What we do is we have these organza bags, which we got off Amazon. So I'll put those around and um, that protects them from birds pecking at them. I don't have any splits, but there's some weird scarring on these. Um, but we've tried them and they're very delicious. So we're gonna, we're gonna take one of these off and open it up inside. Um, I don't know what variety this is currently. It was a gift that was given to us. So it's kind of one of those surprises that will show you what it looks like compared to one of the wonderful palms, which is the mo most common one. It's the one you can find in the grocery store. Um, but these are fun trees. That tree that you guys saw in uh, my friend's backyard in Tempe, 
when we were kids, there were just thousands of these pomegranates and we would throw them at each other. I feel stupid doing it now that they're, they're like $1.50 each at the grocery store. <laughs> But they're, they're a fun tree. They're not super common. Um, the inside, we'll show you when we're eating, is just full of the seeds. And the seeds kind of have a coating around them. And you just eat it. And different, different pomegranate varieties have different hardness with the seeds. So they taste better, in my opinion, if they're not very strong seeds. And you can just kind of bite through them. Um, pomegranates, they're from the Middle East. So they're from Iran to India. Um, but they've been grown since modern civilization. Set, uh, in the Mediterranean and uh, have really done well in a lot of climates. They've kind of got brought over here by Spanish missionaries. They've gone through California and I think they found a good home here in Arizona where they just thrive. Um, like citrus, there are multiple different varieties um, that you can pick. Some of them have like a white flesh. Those aren't as common though. A lot of people think that they have those because when they when they pick theirs too early, like I did this year, I opened it up and I said, hey, I got a white flesh variety. It tasted great when it was white, but it definitely wasn't a white flesh variety because we, we opened another one up a few days ago and it was bright red inside. So generally speaking, they, they're, they're like citrus, so they have different fruiting seasons, but for the most part, I would say end of November to mid, mid to late December is when they're ripe. And they will stay ripe on the tree for a little while longer than that. Once the leaves fall, you're probably going to want to harvest them just so that you don't lose them. Um, you can juice them. You can do a lot of things with pomegranates. Um, but it's a very, very easy, easy tree to grow. Um, and they do grow fast. So like I said, this thing, I'll put a little clip in from when, what, when it, what it looked like in March of 2019. And right here, we have a little pomegranate which is starting to grow. This thing in almost also, two years has quadrupled in size, if not more. So it's a very awesome tree to grow. Just uh, just find one. The wonderful variety that you see everywhere isn't my favorite tasting, um, but it is easy to find. The other varieties are getting more and more common. Um, my mom has a Utah sweet that tastes pretty good. I really enjoy uh, I really enjoy whatever variety this is. So if you find one that you like, uh, just just pick it up. And there's nothing wrong with having more than one if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna have multiple in your backyard. So hopefully you enjoy this video, and we'll uh, continue to give you updates, and we'll uh, we'll show you what it looks like inside in just a minute. All right, we are back with my four lovely children, and that includes you too, Jackson. You're lovely. So. <laughs> We're going to be tasting our pomegranate. So I have three pomegranates. The kids don't know which one came from our tree, which one came from the grocery store, and which one came from our friends, Led the Leptich House. So I, I labeled them one, two, and three. They might know which one it is, and they're gonna keep quiet if they know. But I want them to, at the end, tell us which one they like the best. So Maisie, you can't just like everything this time. You have to pick one that you like the best, okay? I know. And since mom's out of town, we have Harley doing the cutting. And since we don't know how to do a fancy cut on the pomegranate, we're just going to cut it in half. Just go to the side of one of these I'm things. I'm assuming I know which one. Yep, no, 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 you're good. Just just cut right there. Yep, be careful. Don't cut your hand. Well, the reason it's a scissor. Careful, careful. Makes me nervous. Okay. That's kind of... So that one's a little bit pink inside. Maybe it wasn't 100% ready. So we're going to pick out some of these seeds. Here, I'm going to put it in here. That's not going to help. Yes, it will, actually. This is going to be whole. Okay. Riker, you like it? Mm -hmm. It's good. Jackson? Good? I like it. Maisie Harley? Good. Hmm. Probably won't be my favorite, but... I know which one this is. That was good. I think I know which one Okay, it doesn't matter. So, set these aside. Aww. And then go with number two. Pull out number two. Jeez. This is the big one. I'm assuming I know which this one is. 
So it's interesting, that one was really red on the outside, but kind of pink on the inside. Whoa. So don't judge a fruit by its color. This is the lighter of the three. Whoa! And it's lighter. the darkest red on the inside. Boy, is it juicy. All right, let's, let's take a good look at what that looks like on the inside. Nice. Let me see that. Nice and red. Almost looks like a blackberry. Mm. I like this one better. Mm. Yeah. It's a little more sour to me. That one's got a little more tart to it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely juicier too. Mm -hmm. mm. I think that this is one of the juice. I like how that felt. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Let's not cut that yet because we got a whole one right there. All right, so let's set that to the side. Let's do the last one. It almost tastes like um, a warhead, like it's sour, but then no, it does not. The it does. It does me. a little bit to me. Yeah. The flavor, not the. Careful, Harley. I know. Making me nervous, little girl. Can't tell if that's a uh, pomegranate juice or blood. <laughs> Ooh. So that one's a little bit redder for sure. It's not as red as the other one, but it's not as dark. I mean, it's darker than the. First one. And the um, these two were picked straight from, or two of them were picked straight from mm. trees. I really like this one. Okay, guys. So, if you had to pick, Riker, we'll go with you. Which one is your favorite? Which one was that? The Store really red one, number two. Okay. I think. What about what about you, this Harley? One. The one that we just picked, number three. Oh, that's really good. Jackson. I gotta say, um, number two. I mean, are, are we gonna like see? I have like. Just which one do you think tastes better? <laughs> I think that one tastes the best. But are we gonna like see? Yeah, I'll tell which one it was at the end. Okay. I know which one. Which one do you think tastes better? Okay, so number number two. Number one's my second. Okay. Uh, May May, which one is your favorite? Number number Sorry. number two also. Okay, I think my favorite was number one. So two votes for. I'm sorry, number three. Two votes for number three. Me and Harley. Yep. Yeah. You're doing this. And then three time. votes. Thank you, this one was your treat. Yep. Three votes for number two. So number two was a wonderful pomegranate from the grocery store. I knew it, I knew it. Number one was one from our friend's yard in Tempe off the really old tree. And number three was off of our tree in the backyard. So that was our pomegranate tasting. We're gonna enjoy these for a little bit and uh, we'll get back with you guys later. Hopefully you liked our channel, subscribe and we'll, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, bye.